Now, I just want to dive right in because when we spoke on the phone, we immediately connected over this uh, concept, which is so profound for parents to understand that really their conflict that they see with their children is actually the place for growth and discovery and healing. So let's just start there. How does that actually work in the lives of people where they're feeling like, ah, oh, it's, you know, this issue with my teen and actually it's actually something a little bit more profound? Yes. Wow. That's a really big question, but I'm, I'm really glad that you're asking it. Um, and so if I give a little bit of backstory, but it was definitely, um, like you, you mentioned, I have three kids. I really feel like my, my kids have been my greatest teachers. Um, and it was when I got pregnant with my oldest, that was really the catalyst for me to take a look at uh, the parenting that I had gotten and how ill-equipped I felt and scared about becoming a parent, recognizing that I actually grew up in an abusive home where there was domestic violence, and I was you know, sexually, physically, and emotionally abused my whole childhood. I basically never went to bed feeling safe. So I was really nervous. Uh, first of all, as a survivor, I was worried that I would somehow do to my kids what was done to me. I was petrified, right? It's like, oh my God. Um, so I dove right in, in my pregnancy actually, went in, I was blessed to find a support group where I learned um, a lot about the things that, you know, there's nothing wrong with me. It's normal that survivors feel that way, that we worry that we're going to harm others the way we were harmed because we were harmed by the people closest to us, right? Um, so I did a lot of healing up until the point when I had my 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 oldest, but what I also started to, to recognize once I had my kids is that how my children would, I don't want to say manifest my, my greatest challenges, but where I was struggling the most with them was actually where I had unresolved pain myself. Like there was a deep wound, especially with my oldest, you know, being the, 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 the guinea pig, so to speak, right? Um, when she became older and especially when she became a teenager, that's when things really got hard because I was very protective of her, obviously as a, as a young girl, as a young child. And then as I, I was forced to let go, right. To, to trust her to the outside world. Um, I started panicking a little bit and it was this one moment where, um, I, pretty much just fell apart because I was becoming more and more controlling over her. And really, sometimes I felt like it was like unreasonable how I was being with her and I didn't really understand it myself. And then I did have a moment where I just completely broke down and she was old enough that I was able to disclose to her more what had happened to me. And I was just sobbing in front of this, this teenager. And I'm like, honey, the reason why I'm so you know, hard on you and trying to protect you and you think I don't trust you. It's because it's not you that I don't trust. It's the outside world. And this is what happened to me. So I, I told her um, some of the things that had happened to me and it, it helped her to understand. Um, and just as I was expressing it to her, it kind of dawned on me that there was definitely something here that I needed to, to heal and go deeper on with myself.